Welcome back to Management Decision Tools. In this section, we continue with another example on bank location. So trying to optimize the deployment of bank branches in satisfaction of law. So it's kind of interesting that we are trying to comply with the law and yet trying to optimize uh, the um, resource allocation decision making process. So how does it go, right? So let's take a look. Now, uh, what it's trying to say here is that the bank uh, needs to comply with the banking laws and it says, the law says, at least in this example, that um, the uh, bank must have at least a branch, okay, that is accessible to people in a county or uh, from an adjacent county. So in other words, uh, any person in any county should have uh, access to at least one bank branch either in the same county or in one of the at least one of the adjacent counties you, you can have more but you must have at least one so if I'm staying in county X but there is no bank branch in county X right that's okay but the bank must have at least one bank branch in my neighboring immediately accessible county it can be north south east west or somewhere but it has to be neighboring so as to <clears throat> not cause inconvenience to people who are staying in the rural areas um, and uh, yet have to travel far in order to get to a, a bank branch now of course in these days of internet banking that may not be so uh, necessary but until they update the law we still have to comply if you're in the bank trying to optimize things then you must comply right so what would be the decision making process we are talking about 20 county region so the the locality is fixed um, <clears throat> there is already a solution an expensive one that is deploy one bank branch in each of the 20 counties Right, so that's that's twenty, right? Um, but that is taking the law, uh, too much into consideration because there is a leeway that we can exploit a little bit. Uh, you can ask people in the county to access the bank branch in the neighboring county. So rough guess is maybe we can cut that down to half. So, uh, sort of a estimate might be that we have to deploy around ten bank branches, and so what does that mean? That means we have to allocate budget to run the staff uh, to maintain to and so on and so forth right so is that so is that the right number and where where should we deploy these bank branches right so we need answers for that so come up with a model um, and uh, uh, such that you will minimize the number of bank branches <clears throat> okay now of course in minimizing bank branches, we also minimize the yearly maintenance, the staff salary, and operating expenses in general. And we see why that is the right objective function. So how do we begin? Now, if you think about it, since this involves ge geographical locations, we might either need a coordinate system or GPS, longitude, latitude, uh, and it might get complicated, right? Uh, that's why we look at this example. So interestingly, we can look at what we call the incidence matrix. Incidence matrix, and what this means is that since the law, right, the constraints that we have, since the law requires us to only um, establish the relationship of nearby, nearbyness. We don't care how near is near. For example, in large counties, right, uh, the next county could be an hour's drive away. Maybe, I don't know, right? So, uh, but that is considered near legally. That's, that's ne the, the borders are next to each other, right? So, so it's legally near. And so we just need to establish or record the relationships between counties as to whether they are near to each other. We don't have to record the distances apart, uh, how long is the parameter of a uh, shared parameter, etc., etc. We don't need to. So that's why we see a bunch of yes and no's okay and we see county numbers and also the same county numbers on the column what that means is that uh, let's understand and appreciate this data input 
all right uh this reflects the fact on the ground so it is collected data it will be the coefficients so what this means is uh county ash tabula are you near to county ash tabula yeah so you do a you know cross product of all the 20 counties of course i am near to myself by by definition so we put a one there and because of that all the diagonal entries will reflect yeah uh, that each county is self uh, 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 in self proximity with itself so i am near to myself so how about ash tabula and lake are they next to each other now we don't know whether it's north south east west but are they next to east, each other on the map answer is well we check out the map yes they are near to each other can you see that yeah so county one and county two they are near to each other now because near to each other is a concept that is commutative when a is near to b b is near to a so if we see a one here the transpose location right sort of uh, reflected off the diagonal from top left to bottom right should also carry the same uh, value so if it's one it's one if it's zero it's zero okay so let's just look at ash tabula because it's just easier but we can apply this understanding across the rows and the counties so what this means is <clears throat> ash tabula is next to lake number two uh, number 12 which is geiga <clears throat> and number 16 which is trumbo okay so if we have an ash tabula here for example okay and it can be any shape and, and size we know that there are only three other counties not four and not two okay so again we also have no idea whether lake is to the north to the south to the east to the west okay but we know it is next to so lake uh number 12 geiger geiger g and trumbo right so like that now i know that the nearby leanness is definitely right <laughs> okay if there's such a, such a word um but i might get the orientation completely wrong yeah so gaga could actually be in the south and all that but just just trying to reverse out the the location relative locations of the counties from the incidence matrix and now we can sort of uh, imagine <clears throat> if we have if we have a bank branch in ash tabula then by banking law we don't need to have bank branch in Gaga, Lake, nor Trumbo because they are near to each other. Can you see that? Yeah, so if that's the case, I just need one bank branch and I'll be able to comply with the law. That's very good because it's very efficient. Yeah, and on the other hand, if um, Ash Tabula does not have the bank branch but it is found in, for example, Gaga, then Gaga can serve Trumbo, uh, Lake and also ash tabula and maybe more because there'll be other other uh, counties near to giga we don't know we've got to check out the, the row on giga so which county will give us so-called the most bang of the buck so long as they touch each other isn't it yeah uh legally it's considered considered near to each other so how can we find you know strategic counties such that they they serve the most nearby counties as many as possible and thereby reducing our cost of setting up the branches yeah so that's the whole point